So what I've done. Actually, no, that's the only thing. I've got the exact same data on the board, but it put it in Excel. This makes life a little bit easier for us. And I've got the, uh, the number of trials in that little kind of grayed out area in the middle. And then I took the average of each of the number of trials. So we, we averaged 38 across the top because we all started at 38. And after one trial, it averaged down to 19.7, 9.2, 4, 2 point, and so forth and so on and so forth and so on. And then what I did was I rounded off those to the nearest whole number. So essentially, we averaged 38 heads on the first, excuse me, we averaged 38 heads on the zero because we all started at 38. Yeah, that makes sense. Then we went to an average of 20 heads after that. And then, yes, I love when the lights are smarter than us. And then nine, four, two, one, and then eventually, you see how, this is what I was talking about when Scott kept flipping heads and flipping heads and flipping heads and flipping heads. I wanted, this is why I wanted to do so many trials. Because on average, <laughs> the lights are annoying. On average, that one over the course of seven or eight trials is, is very unusual. Is very unusual. So, so therefore, by doing repeated trials and taking the average of our trials, we get, if you will, kind of a, a better picture of what's actually going on in, in the long run. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to graph, whatever, stay on, graph, graph the X number of flips and the average, the rounded average over there. But we don't have to do 7, 8, 9, because 7, 8, 9, 0 out. So grab your TIs. You are gray out this right here. Those are good pairs. Those are good pairs. So you guys take a look at this and this. And let's take a look at that data and see if it shows us anything. Let's take a look at that data and see if it shows us anything. Plug this in to get us ready. So you said don't do seven, eight times. We don't need to because it's just ze it's zeroing out at that point. Yeah. And on average, we shouldn't have. That's again. There's a great question, but is that you, Maddie? Yeah. That was a great question. We don't need to do seven, eight, nine because on average, we shouldn't have gotten to seven, and eight, and nine. Yeah. That's what that's what the long term averages show us. It, uh, the long term averages show us after six was done. After six, we're done long term. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, because we end up at zero. Exactly, and then you can't have fewer than zero because we're talking about whole numbers of, of flips. So while you're doing that, let me get myself fired up. And I'm going to pause this for a second because we don't need to have...